Number six, letter A. Two microwave frequencies are authorized for use in microwave ovens, 900 and 2560 megahertz. Calculate the wavelength of each. So we need a formula that relates basically uh, frequency and wavelength. And that is this equation, that the velocity of the wave will equal the frequency of the wave multiplied by the wavelength. This is lambda, this is like an F, right? and this is velocity. Sometimes you might see frequency as like a, a Greek row, but I don't like that personally because it, F to me makes more sense. Anyway, um, so in this case, if they don't tell you the velocity of the wave, um, but you know it is a type of electromagnetic magnetic wave, you can use the speed of light there because that is technically the um, speed. When these waves travel through different mediums, their speeds might change, but we're assuming this is kind of like in a vacuum, all right? Not the Dyson vacuum, but like a vacuum of space, obviously. So um, let's throw the numbers in, right? So we want to, uh, well, first let's calculate, why don't we calculate this for wavelength? So wavelength, we would just divide the frequency on out, so we would get this equation right here. So then the wavelength now is going to be the velocity, which is 3 times 10 to the 8. That's the speed of light. You probably have to memorize it. Divided now by the frequencies. They have to be in hertz, not megahertz. So this is 900 uh, times 10 to the 6 hertz, right? And we would essentially have then the same thing here. Uh, this would be 3 times 10 to the 8 over then uh, 2,560 times 10 to the 6 hertz, right? So we have to do kind of like two back-to-back -back equations to find the difference in the wavelengths or find the range here. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 900 times 10 to the sixth. So here we have a wavelength here of about 0 0.333. That repeats, right, meters. That's the wavelength at the uh, lower frequency. And then 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2560 times 10 to the sixth. And here we have now the wavelength at the larger frequency. Notice how it is reduced, 117, okay? At the larger frequency, they're inversely related, right? And as you can see, as the speed is constant, increasing frequency leads to decreasing wavelengths, all right? And then it says uh, which frequency would produce smaller hotspots in food, okay? Smaller wavelength, all right? Heats the food up a little more evenly. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If you're taking Chem or Precalculus, we got solved solutions out there for the OpenStack books. Even if you're not using the OpenStack book, you can download the book, find the questions similar to your own, and you can get... Literally solve solutions there. All right. Simple way to uh, try to do better in the class. Take care.